guys, hope y'all are having an awesome week. I'm here with my mom, Heather. Hey guys. And today we wanted to share some health and wellness tips. We're both wellness advocates and love helping people reach their goals. So before we get started, I'll dive in a little bit as to why I became a wellness advocate in the first place. And I gotta say it was for me, for sure, but it was also for those around me. I realized that how, I realized how a healthy lifestyle, it was impacting me not only physically, but also the way that I interacted with those around me. And that's one of the most important things to me is to be able to um, inspire others, be a light to others, and to help advance people's lives. And I'm really excited to be able to help others do that as well. Mm -hmm. So, Mom, let's go ahead and dive in. Why did you become a wellness advocate and what inspired you to pursue a healthy lifestyle in the first place? Well, I believe just like anything in life, if we don't take the opportunity to challenge ourselves, then we will never grow or we'll never learn new things about ourselves. So for me, the decision to live a healthier lifestyle came from deep down inside. I'm very competitive, so I was attracted to the challenge that it posed to myself. So I just dug in and began to learn and uh, learn from others. And I really like uh, what you said about uh, helping to inspire others. You know, we have to be inspired ourselves and, and, and get there so that we can be where we need to be to help others. Absolutely. And so that was also my, my goal and my challenge to myself as well. Uh, unfortunately, we live in a world where there's a lot of toxic activity going on. Okay, toxic okay. eating, <laughs> toxic thinking, uh, toxic things that we're exposed to. These things can cause a person to deteriorate, both mentally and physically. So my challenge to myself was to not let any of those things take root in my life and just to rise above that. So, uh, and to help others do the same. So, you know, is it easy? No, but it's not impossible. Absolutely. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Thanks. Okay, so let's talk about working out. We know that sometimes it can be hard to get motivated to go to the yes. gym. <laughs> um, so mom, give us a little bit of a snapshot of what a typical day at the gym looks like for you. Well, first I had to make the decision where that training or workout would take place, uh, at home or at the gym. So I thought a little bit about that and I thought, well, I need to go to my local gym. And here's why, because I knew that number one, I needed to be where there wasn't going to be something that would grab my attention, like being at home, doing laundry, oh, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> dishes or, or whatever. Uh, Two, I knew that when you are around others that are on the same mission as you, mm -hmm. uh, your chances of success increase greatly. Oh, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, others that are on the same journey as you, it, it keeps you inspired, keeps you motivated. Uh, and lastly, you know, you're able to you're able to talk with people, mm -hmm. and people will tell you they're willing to tell you they love to talk about what has helped them reach their goals and and be successful. So. So that was number one. Uh, so a typical workout or training, and I like to call it training because you're literally training yourself, your body, your mind to make changes, to do better, yeah. to live healthier. It just doesn't happen overnight. It, it, takes, it takes training. So um, the first thing I do when I go to the gym is I like to pull out my journal or my notebook and I sit down and I write down in detail what I'm going to do that particular day. Anywhere from the, uh, the muscle groups I'm gonna work, mm -hmm. to the weight that I'm going to lift, you know, what, what types of uh, weights I'm gonna use, the machines, um, you know, anywhere from the, also the, the reps that I'm yeah. gonna do, and the sets, so it's very detailed. <laughs> okay, so it keeps me moving, and it's streamlined, so that way I know that I'm covering all my grounds. That's so, a great tip. Yeah. To stay organized like that with your workouts. Oh, you, you have to stay organized. Or you're just going to be wandering around the gym. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that, that wastes time. You're not what reaching your goals wandering around. Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah. So, so yeah. <laughs> so, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have all that written down. And uh, then I'll warm up. It's very important to warm up and stretch. Oh, yeah. So that uh, you don't uh, have any injuries. Uh, so, I'll take uh, maybe... Uh, I'll get five to ten minutes to do that, and then um, 
I will go from there and I'll begin to uh, work on the muscle groups I have written down. So for instance, I may do on a particular day, I may do uh, chest and shoulders, okay? Uh, on another day, I may do back and biceps, okay? And, and uh, I'll do legs, legs, two yeah. times a week. Leg day. Yeah? <laughs> Yay, leg day. Um, and so by the end of the week, every muscle group is trained, has been trained uh, from, from head to toe. And cardiovascular training is important, don't forget that. Uh, many people do not like that, do not, do not like to, to get on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. um, they try to avoid it, but it's not something that you want to leave out. That particular uh, training needs to be in a uh, environment, in a, in a, you need to choose something that makes it exciting. Okay, Make so, it exciting for yourself. Yeah, yeah, so for instance, I like to run. You like to run. Mm -hmm. So when at all possible, I like to do that at the park because there you're surrounded by a beautiful landscape. Yeah. Okay, so it helps the time to go by faster. So you have to set yourself up for success. Use all the tools out there that you have to make that happen. Okay? Yeah. Um, you don't have to spend all day at the gym. Um, I, for one, need to work on that because I, I consider myself a social butterfly too. So <laughs> any of my gym gym buddies will tell you that yeah we we like to we like to talk but we do learn a lot about each other too but uh you know you keep it streamlined 60 minutes oh yeah 30 minutes funny. weight training 30 minutes cardiovascular training and and that's good mm -hmm. and and be proud of yourself and, and go home and rest yeah yeah and i love what you said about making it fun and exciting for yourself i know mm -hmm. that the times that we go running at the park you know we'll see little families of deer or oh we'll see goodness. the sunrise or the sunset, yeah. and it's just stuff that you won't be able to see if you are indoors or, or mm -hmm. choose not to work out that day or go running. Mm -hmm. um, even though it can be hard, once you're out there and you're doing it, it's mm -hmm. so worth it, and you feel so great at the end. Yes. Um, yes. And then, like you said, to be able to surround yourself with people who are like-minded, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's really helpful and motivational. Oh too. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you know, take um, some headphones or earbuds to the gym with you. If I forget mine, I'll literally come back home and get them, yeah. because uh, you know, the, with the weather being the way it's been here lately, obviously you can't do cardio outside. So right. I would have to end up on the treadmill or the row machine or an elliptical, and having your inspirational music and your, you know, listening to that, mm -hmm. it really makes a world of difference. So set yourself up for success. Use all the tools out there that you have to do that. Yeah. Um, keep track of what you're doing in a journal. Uh, there's many days I'll go back and say, I, I don't quite remember where I was a week ago. Let me see where I was and see where I can kind of push forward this week. Um, you don't just want to be spinning your wheels because when you see results, uh, man, that sends you over the top with encouragement. Yeah, okay, that's there, what it's all about. Yeah, there again, setting yourself up for success. Um, you know, as we get older, we lose bone density and muscle tissue, you know, and with that goes our, our strength and our vitality in life. So there is a huge why to make the decision to, you know, be a health advocate. You know, do it for yourself, but but set a trend for your friends and your family too, as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, yeah, awesome. strength and vitality as we age. You know, it, it it improves your quality of life. That's awesome. Yeah. So I think we're gonna leave it with that for now. Until next time. But before we go, we want to share a couple of things with you. First is a quote that we absolutely love to live by and inspires us in our health journey. And that is, when you take care of yourself, you can offer who you are from a place of strength rather than exhaustion. And I just love awesome. that. Mm -hmm. And how inspiring that is um, yeah, to be really able inspiring. to offer yourself from a place of wow. strength. Through a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So we also want to leave you with a question for the day. Did you want to go ahead and share that with everybody? Yeah, so the question is, why do you think it's difficult for some people to take the journey to live a healthier lifestyle? Yes, because we know sometimes it's, it is difficult to get motivated to live that healthy lifestyle. So please leave your comments and your opinions and your thoughts in the comment section below and we are so excited to hear from you.
yes. and to connect with you. Absolutely. Um, so we're looking forward to next time. We hope you have an awesome week. Leave your comments below and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Thanks. Bye.